right, so today I'm going to talk about the five super basic things that you're going to need along with your kayak to make it ready to be able to kayak fish for a very cheap cost. So recently I've been getting a lot into fishing and I found myself in situations where I would like to uh, get to a place where there's not very good uh, bank access. So I did some research on cheap kayaks and how you can modify them to be good for fishing. And I have kind of narrowed it down to just five basic things you're gonna need to be able to have a good day um, optimizing your time fishing and out in the water. So the first thing that you're gonna want is either to have roof racks for your car or a bed in a truck that you can put your kayak in. So I have tried putting it in a minivan and it works when you fold down all the seats, but they get wet and it's just really inconvenient. So as you can see from these clips is that the kayak racks help a lot and it's super easy and it keeps the um, water out of your car. So second is that you're gonna need a kayak. And this might seem super simple to people that haven't even looked at a kayak before, but from a little bit of research, you'll find out that there are two types of kayaks. There's a sit inside, which is the one that I'm in right now. That's when your feet kind of go underneath the kayak. There's a lip that kind of goes over your, the sides of your uh, legs. And then there's also one where you sit completely on top, and that's where you're completely exposed. And that's basically like, imagine sitting in a, in a shell um, that's just above the water, or sitting in like uh, an enclosed bubble and you're sitting on top of the bubble, that would be the sit on top. Those are impossible to sink and they're also very good for fishing because you're sitting a little bit above the water so you can see in a little bit better. However, in this price range, I got this one, this kayak for about 250 bucks. For this price range, I've tried sit on top, sit ins, expensive sit on top, very expensive sit ins, and I have found that in the price range of around $250 to keep your kayak cheap, sit-in kayaks are going to be the most stable at the lower cost. If you can afford a more expensive kayak, a sit-on-top is going to be better for you because in some cases you can even stand. And if standing is something that you're going to want, you might want to get a sit-on-top, a more expensive one that is stable enough that you can stand. Okay, so the third thing that you're going to want in your kayak setup is just to have some basic rod holders. Here, I don't have anything fancy, no angled ones, no right next to me adjustable, but I do have some um, slots to just put two fishing poles in, and that helps a ton. I can just keep the fishing poles back there out of the way when I'm rigging them up, or just when I'm using another fishing pole or talking to the camera or messing with something else, those are out of the way, all good. All right, so the fourth thing you're gonna want is just enough storage. This kayak is just a shell. There's no special waterproof compartments or anything, but it's long enough and there's enough um, just empty space that I do have enough storage. Right up here in front of my legs where the uh, pedals are for your feet to go. There's enough empty space that I can put my tackle box up here. And these little side parts right here, I can put an anchor and I can put um, just some water bottles and a snack. Right behind me, I can put my PFD. And then also I will put my camera back there because it's probably the safest place. Again, just enough storage. Uh, make sure that there's a place to put your stuff. Finally, the fifth and what I think is the most important thing you're going to want in your kayak is an anchor system. So an anchor system is not going to just be an anchor, but also what's called an anchor trolley. So if you've ever tried anchoring a boat, what you'll find is all the boats end up, they, they, they're tied up at the tip of the boat, and then your anchor's out about 15, 20 feet or so. And what that causes your boat to do is whenever the current changes, it's going to go like this. And that's fine when you have a bunch of other boats around you and you don't care where you're pointing. However, when you want to point towards the shore, you can't just be going around where it's, wherever the, where the uh, current's going to take you. 
So you're going to want to have an anchor trolley to be able to decide where you want to point. Hopefully you guys still enjoy the video, even though we didn't have much luck catching fish. And also I hope the five tips help you guys building your own nice setup to go out and have some fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.